Hello everybody, it's Flash Flare, and welcome to the fifth, I think by counting, this is episode <laughs> of Mario Kart 7. Today I'm going to be going with Toad and trying to pick a bit of an odd combination. I don't know, just to give this whole thing some spice. Bumble V and Gold Tires. That should do the job. Paraglider 2. Gold Tires is something you unlock, um, I think by beating everything on Star Mode or collecting a certain amount of coins, I can't quite remember. But today, anyway, we are going to be taking on the Shell Cup. Hold on, let me zoom out just a little bit. The Shell Cup 50cc, which is pretty cool. It has some, all the shell, banana, leaf, and, and lightning cups. I'll have older tracks remade into the Mario Kart 7 style, so I'm really excited to get on with this episode because here's one of the best, it's a staple in the Mario series. The Mario Kart series just can't be Mario Kart without Luigi Raceway. And even though they didn't recreate it modernly, they still put it in their old life. Okay. As you can see, the gold tires give you an amazing speed boost that lets you pass anybody as quick as you want. You can do a little trick on that bump there if you're daring enough, and right here is probably one place you'll want to coast, if you can stay on the road. Gold tires have horrible handling is one of their downfalls, which I don't really like, because they can't make a good car, car wheels with, or car for that matter, with good speed and control at the same time. I guess you, that mostly depends on your driving skills, I guess, how that works. I don't know, it just never seemed right to me. Maybe they could make it lacking on a couple other stats, like acceleration and weight. Something like that, but speed and control should really go together. Anyway, there are a lot of easy coins on this track, so try to collect those. And I'm not actually quite sure yet, but I think the blooper is actually... No, it actually probably doesn't. But I know it does to other it, other racers. It actually affects your speed. Not yours, but the other racers. And when people get hit by a blooper, it's a lot easier to catch up to them. Because they slow down because they can't quite see where they're going. I guess that's another one of those things that, that kind of depends on the driver. More like if you're going to slow down if you can't see or if you just plow your head right into it. I'm going to send these shells backwards because I don't have any use for them. And probably right when I say that, a red shell will come. I've got to keep holding on to these coins. And really, from here, the track is just pretty much easy stuff. I can stand first, and looking at the bottom screen right now, I'm... Yeah, you can tell I was looking at the bottom screen there. I am about... How did that... I am about half a track ahead of the rest of these guys, and I'm... And I somehow just hit somebody by throwing that shell backwards. Got three banana peels now, so unless a blue shell comes my way, I'm doing fine. And this race is in the bag. The Bumblebee is really a amazing car. It's so creative. I just like it. Its stats aren't the best, but if you got the golden wheel to complement the golden uh, wheels, is what I mean to say, to complement its lack in stats, right where it's lacking all the way. It's really a good car and you should use it as much as you get the chance. Okay, I'm gonna try to hinder some drivers that way and we finished first on the first track. Next race. Oh, how wonderful. Game Boy Advance Bowser's Castle. I don't get why this is such a hit in every Mario Kart game that they have to recreate it. I actually personally hate it. <laughs> Even though it's kind of easy, it's a little too easy, and at some parts it's a little too hard. It just keeps the flow of Mario Kart flowing non-flowably. If you get what I'm saying, of course. <laughs> um, the thwomps here will crush you, of course, if you get under them. If you're any sort of a Mario fan that has been after the series for any amount of time, then you'll know that. Let's see. I've got to think of some kind of question of the day while this racing is starting to get boring. 
uh, what Mario game did you first pick up the series on and start to get interested in it? What was your first Mario game? Um, hold on a moment while I think about that one. Wow, that was lucky. I could have gotten crushed in a lot of places there, but... I think that my first Mario game was Super Mario All-Stars. Even though that was a little before my time, it's the one I grew up on. But if you want to talk around my time when Mario was thriving, it was really 64, I've got to say. Super Mario 64, it's not the best game, but it's a classic. You got to say that. Gotta give that to it at least. Lap three, and we are still doing good. We've just got ten coins maxed out on speed. And these thwomps have nothing on us. I don't know, it's like, it might have been into peels that I left there. Huh. I should make a video sometime showing how I set these things up. Like how I set my recording up and stuff, because for some reason you guys are really interested and how I capture the 3DS so well. Ah, oh, come on, that was backfiring. Wow, and that was close too. So, you guys are really interested in that, so I'll try to make a video of that sometime. Finished first in the second track, which was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Have a star next to my name though, now even though you can't really see it. I beat all the tracks on star or higher rating, so. I got that. It's really fun to go online and have people go, oh, he has a star, he's gonna be hard to beat. Actually, I can't hear those people, but... Anyway, any recent Mario Kart pickups will remember this. Mushroom Gorge. One of the most famous tracks from the Wii. Or at least I think it's famous because it got remade. But it's a good track. Um, it's a little hard and they changed a couple things, like I'm gonna be showing you. Of course they didn't have paragliders in the Wii, and they had to find a way to make that in. So that's what I'm going to be showing. I'm going to take this shell out and hold it behind me. Coast here, and I'm going to go the upper way. Because as you see, this blue mushroom is new. They did not used to have this. And blue mushrooms apparently make your glider come out. So that was a good addition, I think, to the track. Because it makes a shortcut for you. And makes the track a lot more fun. It's like adding sugar, if you know what I mean. Okay, back onto the original way of the track. Um, we got our three banana peels here, and I'm going to take all different ways I can, just to show you all the potential that this track has. You know, unless your car has good acceleration, I'm not exactly sure that's the best way to go. It looks like some kind of shortcut, and if your car doesn't do well on heights or doesn't have good acceleration, like if it's a heavy car or low acceleration like I've said a million times, um, then you should probably take it the other way, because that would be the only reason that I could see that that's a good way. Or if you don't do well on the heights generally, that's good to be there. Like everybody on the bottom screen has a mushroom. I would pick up the camera if I wasn't racing. Here we go. And how wonderful. As if I didn't already lose enough coins already. I have to strip me of more of them. Here we go. And try to collect these, get them back. Because I'm trying to unlock parts, it's just not working. It's, there's, you have to have so many coins to unlock these parts. Like 500 a car, a car piece now. Because I'm like at 2,400, i got to get 100 more coins for the cart piece. And that is just plain wrong, I think. Why did the camera switch there? That's weird. I'm to hit a Goomba. I missed twice. Just grab this coin and I'll be at 10. And that's the end of Mushroom Gorge. As you can see, they changed a little, but that's okay. I'm okay with that now. 30 points to 21. Rosalina is my only competition as long as I finish higher than first. I'm good to go. And even if I finish last, I'm pretty sure that would be... Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm wiping my nose. Okay, Luigi's Mansion. Now this is a track from... The Mario Kart DS. I've seen Mario Kart DS played before. 
but it never really grabbed my interest like Mario Kart 7 did as soon as I heard that was coming out, so I never got into the DS era. Really, DS wasn't... It didn't really do Nintendo justice. It was a groundbreaking thing, but with like with most groundbreaking games of Nintendo, um, game systems and stuff, and eras, they don't really do well on it, even though it's groundbreaking, and that's the only reason really why it sells, because it's new. But aside from that, some of the best games ever were for the DS, and I've got to give it that, because Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story wouldn't have been a reality without the DS, and I can't imagine a world without that game, because it's so awesome. If I had a way to capture both dual screens without using an emulator, which I, I don't really want to use an emulator because it's kind of against the law. <laughs> Some of you probably are using them, and I'm okay with that, but I just don't want to use it. Uh, but if I did have an emulator, and if I did use it, I would be LPing Bowser's Inside Story right now. Just to be new and fresh because that's one of the best games ever. It's right up in there with the greats of the best games ever. There are things in these pictures, so look out, they're just... They'll try to scare you more than do anything to hurt you. So don't worry about them too much. I'm dropping chandeliers. Trying to make you lose your grip on the steering wheel. By freaking you out. Oh, I think I see an opportunity for something new here. Yeah, that is a major shortcut, just in case you didn't know. As soon as you get a mushroom, if you get a mushroom there use it because that's going to be one of your best breakthroughs to see that right there and that'll get you far. These walking trees, I hate them. They always scared me. I mean, it's not... Speaking of Bowser's Inside Story, I've got to say there are tree holes in there that look just about exactly like those. But anyway, these ones for some reason, just they're just freaky. I don't know why. It's not really scared, scared. I, I'll tell you what scares me, blue shells, because they make me afraid that I'm going to lose a 50cc race on camera, and that wouldn't be too good. If you want to keep your LPing realm, and you're a little following of people, you can't lose tracks on 50cc. Watch, there are people right behind me, actually. I'm surprised to say, if I wouldn't have taken that shortcut last lap, it probably would have. they probably would have been past me by now. So this is going to be a bit more of a crunch of a race than you thought, probably. Because Peach is on my tail right now. I think I'm going to do fine, though. If you guys don't stop. Whoa, that was close. Here we go. And there's the finish line. So, that was the Shell Cup. Leave your rating, I guess. That's another way to say it, but... Yeah, you can leave your rating for each of the tracks, like, out of 10 or out of 5, or whatever suits you best. You can obviously see that I was wiping my nose there, but I'm probably going to black that part out, just because I like to do that. I don't really like anybody to see my face unless of a quick reflection that you might be able to have some fun with. That's three stars for the shell cup with an emerald in the middle of the shell. Ooh, Donkey Kong. That's kind of cool. Yeah, you get new title screens once you finish everything right, and this is one of my favorite title screens. He's really awesome. So anyway, I should probably get back to what I was doing. Thank you for watching this game. This game being played by a geek. And I will see you next time when we take on the... Um, Banana Peel Club, I think it's called. See you guys then.